as you can tell, I didn't like Halo 5. No. I didn't. It was almost the worst AAA game of this year. Only Battlefront could save it for that. It's disappointing on nearly every front, especially for a Halo fan. Especially. It's very convenient how Master Chief Collection, a game which was supposed to be just a next-gen version of games that already existed, had various glitches and connectivity issues, but the game that they created that was original content didn't. 343 blatantly lies about trying to improve by lying about the story and pre-release material. In many ways, it's better than Halo 4, and in many more ways, it's worse. Anyway, I decided I was gonna make a short video, but the things wrong with the game quickly snowballed, and here it is now. Let's go ahead and get the good things out of the way first, because there are good things about this game. The first one I have to say is that the music is good. Damn good better than Halo 4's. I'd say the main menu theme might be one of the best in the series, given that it's a mashup of Halo 4's, Reach, 3's, and 2's. The visuals are also something to mention. They're some of the best the Xbox One has to offer since its release in 2013. I've never really liked the 343 style of detailing Halo armor, but they really tried to pay homage to the older Halo games in the campaigns, and it shows. Frame dips are rare, and the cinematics match actual gameplay pretty evenly. Nothing to really complain about in the visual department. DLC will be free. What almost cancels this out is that they're adding in things that should have been in the game at launch, but hey, you can't beat free classic maps. Yeah, they're adding in Forge, which should have been in the game, but they're adding in maps from Halo 3 and 2, so that's a nice little touch. And that's about all the good things about the game. Yeah, on to the bad. The main menu looks like one of the sub-menus from Halo 2. Even from just looking, you can tell there's no game modes. There's no playable elites as well. Why? Not even in story mode can you be an elite. What's with 343 and their hatred against elites? There's no forge. And custom games is almost as minimal as multiplayer. Game modes are minimal. And I mean very minimal. Where's infection? There's no infection. Obviously there's no possibility of invasion coming back either. They're talking about adding these things as the game's lifetime goes on, but there's really no excuse for that. Oh yeah, no team doubles either. Remember when Halo 3 had so many good game modes that they had to keep over 10 active at one time because of the traffic on each one? Well, now you have about seven, and that's after the ones they added in an update. I just realized Team Sniper got taken away and replaced with basically Breakout again. The ranking system is almost as confusing as Halo 4's, and in reality it doesn't show for anything. You can get rec packs for leveling, but that's about it. For some reason, it doesn't tell you who you're playing against or their rank until after the game's over. What's the point of leveling if you can't show your level off? And what is this pre-game screen? It looks awful. Breakout had some real potential, but ruined by most of the rules and the community. Grenades are a one-hit kill, and sliding into enemies is an instant kill. You also need to camp to regen your shields. I'm not even kidding about that one. The thrust mechanic is pretty cheap, and the ground pound is rarely used outside of glitching and campaign. The unlockable helmets shamelessly destroy older helmets' designs. What do I mean? Well, go look at the Mark VI. There's like five or six different variants of it. 
and none of them look like the ones from Halo 3 and 2. Even the Mark V looks nothing like the Halo CE one. Yeah, I get it, it's a new team and new designers and all that, but how come people always damage control that 343 has Bungie team members in it when the armor looks nothing like something Bungie would create? The story in between Halo 4 and 5 isn't explained, and it leaves tons of gaps in the story. No, you remember that sub-game, Spartan Ops, the one from way back in 2012 that no one played? Yeah, you had to wait for all the episodes, and then play them all to understand the story in this. Why is Halsey missing an arm? Spartan Ops. Is that the Arbiter from Halo 3? Game never tells you. Spartan Ops. 343, not everyone stuck around long enough to play the train wreck of a game sub-game. People played it for the main story and multiplayer, not Spartan Ops. Wait, where did Linda and Fred come from? What, so now the characters from the book are in the game? Where were they in Halo 2 and 3 when Chief was busy saving the universe? And for that matter, why doesn't the UNSC trust Chief after he saved the universe about, I don't know, five million times? Are you kidding me? You expect people to believe this? There's two missions where you just sit around doing nothing. All you do is go around and talk to people, and it really doesn't further the story at all. It's something that could have been summed up in a few sentences, and most of the time, it's developing more on something you don't understand because you didn't play Spartan Ops. Oh yeah, no split screen. So if you get disconnected from live, the only option for gameplay you have is solo campaign. What is ADS doing in a Halo game? Why did they make the assault rifle so good when it's not even supposed to compete with the BR and DMR? For whatever reason, a lot of the main weapons got buffs. The DMR is a three shot kill, the assault rifle has way better aiming, and the BR is pretty good as well. No more unlockable gear. It's all just based on how good your RNGs are. Gotta love that. Microtransactions are on a scale just below Advanced Warfare and Destiny. Yeah, it's mostly just cosmetics, but here's the breakdown. Either you pay $2 for a silver pack that will give you shit, $3 for a gold pack that might be good, or $25 for a Warzone pack that will always give you something good. Yeah. But here's the thing, the Warzone drops give you better things in the game mode Warzone, which does make the game unfair. There's a lot more I had to say, mostly about the horrendous story, but I sold the game. Yeah, I have no more gameplay to show because I wanted a full refund. And yes, I am aware that Big Team Battle is in the game now, but it wasn't in there when I had it. Period. It affected how well I liked the multiplayer at the time, and that's all there is to it. This age of we'll add it later in games is horrible, and it shouldn't be a thing for a game that millions of dollars were spent on to not have a trademark game type of the series. Overall, it's bad. It sucks. Get Metal Gear 5, get Fallout 4, get anything but this. Real Halo fans will just be let down again by 343. If you want to get disappointed by Halo for a third time in three years, go ahead. Make the mistake I did and pick it up.